All right, so you guys asked for it. Here it goes. This is after three weeks of not doing anything with my hair. I'm going to show you guys how I do a two strand twist. Here are all my products. We love these. I use these all the time. TGIN is the absolute truth. Use it for everything. And this, ladies, black soap. Plain foam black soap is the greatest thing to put in your hair. Okay? That's me all I know. This is about average how much hair I lose when I do my hair. Okay? And now here we go. Fresh out the shower. It's all done. So not bad, right? Shrinkage is real. But fresh out the shower, it's still a little long. Those are just my curls with a leave-in conditioner, the TGIN. Then what I do is I use my own homemade product right here. I'll do a video on that another time. All you need is a dollop, one tiny little finger full. And I do that for each section just to coat my hair. So that's what I'm doing. Run it through with my fingers. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the other side. Just a little dollop just to give your hair some sheen. It's got a good mixture of oils. Like I said, I will post that another time on how I actually make my concoction. And I put it on everything, not just in my hair. I put it on my body too. Now, I like a jagged part, but that's just me. You could do a straight part. You could do a side part. You can part your hair however you want. But for me, I like a jagged part because, you know, I'm a little crooked. <laughs> get it a little crooked I know corny but anyway this is my first time doing this so y'all gonna have to bear with me okay now I'm trying to part it from the back all right there it is from the back and as you can see I didn't do a good job washing my hair do you see all that up on my scalp Ugh. I'm gonna have to do it all over again whatever <laughs> Get my little clampy clamp, and we do one side at a time, or one section at a time. This brush, ladies, woo, get your life. Woo, great. Now we're just gonna section this out. So I just do my big section into two smaller sections just to comb out and get the last tangles out right run it all the way through look how easy that is look how quickly it detangles your hair you see this better than a denim brush which is what i used to use until somebody put me onto this one so much easier and if you have children if you have little girls oh they will thank you like where was this when we were growing up right i needed this All right, so next it's time for my finishing products before I do a twist. This is Aunt Jackie's Don't Shrink Gel. I use a lot. And that's completely up to you how much you want to put into your hair. So I use a, you see that guap right there? I use a nice guap size, palm size uh, slathering. I love that word. Slathering. And you're just going to put that bad boy all the way through from the top to the bottom. Run your fingers through it. This will help keep your curls in place. So while your hair is drying, it will kind of act as a setting solution. And it doesn't leave your hair crispy and crunchy. You know, some gels do that. It won't. Now I have my soft bristle brush where I'm just going to smooth out my edges. I'm a little grown. I ain't worried about baby hairs and all that stuff. If y'all want to do that, have at it. But for me, I'm just smoothing down my edges and where my parts are. Now it's time for the twist. Okay. Make sure your part is nice. 
All right, so now this is you just take your finger, tuck it under and over. Tuck under, over, grab a little piece of hair. Every time you do it, you're grabbing a little piece of hair. See how I'm doing that? Tuck under, grab, pull it over. And you do this the whole time through, okay? This is my first video. I gotta figure out how to speed things up. So we'll do that on the next video. But in the meantime, y'all just gonna have to watch me <laughs> do the whole thing. I'm still figuring out apps and software. And the last time I did this, I recorded the whole thing. And when I listened to it, there was no sound. Hopefully I won't have to do this again. But then you see how that buildup of product, you just take that and smear it on your ends. Take your little brush, push it through again. And don't worry about that little excess. It'll all smooth into your hair once it starts drying. If I'm lucky, by the time I finish this, y'all will have some music playing in the background, which I should have done, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up. So bam, first side done. Now it's time for the second side. Let me see if I could speed this up. Okay, I figured out how to speed it up. So this part will go a little bit faster. Not as fast as I would have liked, I guess, but faster than the other one. So we're just gonna repeat the entire process on this side of your hair. There I am smoothing it out. I'm not worried about my baby hair because I'm a grown. And now we're just gonna grab and tuck grab and tuck. I came a little bit closer to the camera so that you could see. And you want to pull a little tight. I forgot to mention that. Depending on you, some people like a loose twist. I like to pull it really tight. That helps for me with drying my hair, but to each his own. And it doesn't matter because once you let go, it is going to loosen up as the days wear on unless you take it and clip it. Please ignore my my son in the background. He's playing his video games. All right, so now I wrap my hair with an old t-shirt. This trick, this life hack, get your life. It is the greatest thing ever. I rock this thing when I go out. I rock it when I'm going to school, to work. Usually my students know if Missy J got her t-shirt on, either her hair is wet and she's drying it, or I'm doing a deep condition. And I've even worn it when I was doing a henna treatment. I'm gonna pause to answer the phone. We keeping it real on this uh, video right here. So you take this t-shirt, you put it on as if you're putting it on inside out, tie it as tight as you can, wrap it and roll it. Some people like a top knot, sometimes like the back knot. This time I'm doing a back knot. And then you just tuck any excess pieces of the shirt and you're done. Ta-da! Check out a later video for the rest.